What is happening? Uh, today we're going to talk very fast here about two stocks that uh, we've taken a um, trade this morning. The US was in the watch list uh, in the morning since uh, it was ramping up right here as you noticed. Uh, but I didn't trade that one. It was a decent opportunity here for the reversal. Actually in this panel, well I was like, actually live streaming but I didn't like that one. We can see a flag another five right now. This flag is actually very interesting. I think that 50 simple moving average will actually be the resistance for a possible test of that view app right here at three dollars and twenty eight cents. But again, main treat was Tesla this morning. Um, as many of you probably were in the stream this morning, I told you. I was not interested in Tesla as a short, uh, shorting stock. The regular, the, 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 sh the rules, I'm sorry, are a little bit different than just going long. And I didn't want to tie up all that capital on Tesla. Now, there was uh, a guy that uh, asked me on Stock Twist this morning if I had, uh, well, if I had uh, an idea uh, of Tesla today. Let me see if I can bring it up here real quick. And you can see there, he asked me, I posted this yesterday, this morning, as a matter of fact, was it this morning? At 7.25 in the morning, I posted this thing today. And he responded 7.27 right away, if I had any thoughts on Tesla. And I say, honestly, I think it can pull back some more today. Uh, this ramp up and yesterday's doji makes me believe that. But I think uh, long term it will go over 1000. I want to go and show you really what it's been happening on the daily so you have an idea of what I'm talking about here. And here you can see the doji that I was referring to and the ramp up. You look at the ramp up Tesla. Some time ago, if you notice, was down here. I think that this is when Elon probably had a problems with the SEC and smoking weed on Joe Rogan uh, podcast. One seventy six ninety nine. It's like pretty low to compared to what I we saw right now yesterday going to eight dollars uh, eight hundred sixty eight dollars and ninety nine cents. But this doji gave me uh, an idea, really, that hey, that we'll, we'll probably see a pullback some more today prior to ramping up again and, and making a move towards the 100. So I told you guys on the stream, the ones that were there, that I'm not, I wasn't interested on shorting Tesla. I was not going to tie up all of that capital. But I was really interested on getting a, a little bit of a, a dead cat bounce, right? And if you notice the first flush here, it worked out pretty uh, decent. Uh, you can see a hammer candle right here, which is uh, the first couple of candles for that reversal, right? Topping candle, look at that ramp up all the way to the uh, close of the 100 simple moving averages. And the first 10 minutes of the trading day was a pretty decent opportunity here to trade Tesla. We had a reversal right here. I took a stab at it. I actually didn't really think that we would go on top of the view app. And on the way up, it worked out very well for me. I was taking chunks out while it was moving. Quarter, quarter, quarter. I like to do that. The last quarter that I was holding, I actually thought it was going to you know, tap the view app and roll over. I was holding that quarter. And it didn't really um, pull back from there. It didn't have that rollover that I was thinking the first time around. So... When he just pushed up, kept on going, uh, and kept on going, and kept on going, and said, well, okay, we're on top of the view app. Well, then the next stop has to be the 50 simple moving average. And right here, even broke even higher. So, well, this is this is kind of freaking, oh, okay, good, I'd take that. But on the way up, I actually thought it was way too much to ask. And I really thought that 100 simple moving average was really going to be the point that it was actually not going to move some more. So uh, I took the rest out, just holding a quarter, but it actually gave me a very, very nice range. If you look at here, 
uh, from the low of this candle to the high of this one. Uh, we have a pretty decent trade here of uh, fifty-eight dollars and fourteen cents, seven point thirty-eight uh, percent move. I'm not gonna say I took the whole thing, obviously not, but it was a massive, massive range. And as I told you, stocks like this that has a very good and decent range, you don't have to buy huge amounts. You can buy a couple of shares if your account allows you for that. And with this range, again, you see the $50 move. That's a pretty decent range per share. You know, you can buy a couple of shares and still be making a lot of money. On a day, it's better than going out there selling your time, um, seven, ten, fifteen dollars an hour or whatever. So Tesla worked out very well in the first trade. Uh, so for right now, still keeps on dropping. See that reversal right there again. Uh, quick pop uh, after this uh, hanging man seven seven seven. This is really kind of freaky. Because a couple of minutes ago on the low of the five minute candle on Tesla, we can see a 777 low right there on this candle. And we had a 767 low a couple of minutes ago on a five minute candle. Look, this one here. The high actually is a 767. And that was kind of, I was like, kind of, this is kind of freaky. Uh, because it's 767 flat, right? And I was thinking, well, the 750, 767 and 757s, aren't those the Boeing planes? I was like, yeah, this is kind of like, is this a sign? You know, so again, and also space, it's PCE, the holding uh, Virgin Galactic uh, holding company. We had a micro bounce on the one minute time frame. We had a micro bounce on a candle that made $9 and uh, 35 cents right here on this uh, spinning top candle 935 so we got a micro bounce we had a different opportunities here as well on this one uh, prior to the close in this one this this actually this candle gave us uh, the micro bounce but I didn't really like the formation all the way so I took a stab at the low of this one 1935 looking for the low that we had of uh based on the 15 going back of uh 1902 uh, i can't really remember okay the low of this candle was 1902 and i was talking about that afterwards because here's the idea that i had looking at the 50 simple moving i mean the 100 simple moving average right because by the time that we had this candle here 1935 obviously we haven't had been 1902 low right here because the low was this little flag here but i was looking for a possibility to test the 1888 which was the 100 simple moving average it flushed down under this thing we had the i got really spooked though i got i got scared and what you gotta say because this candle here had this push up this quick pop very close in a rejection right away on the 50, but I didn't like that. I was like, oh, this is not good. So I decided, hey, let me just, let me take a life, life jacket and let me just jump ship, you know, but it worked out okay. 19, uh, 1860 was uh, the prior support. Um, we put a trend line. We, could, we were talking on the stream about the resistance right here, but in this one, uh, you guys know that I put my orders of five cents prior to the whole dollars and half dollars. So I was looking for the $19 uh, test. Obviously, you're going to know that I'm going to send my orders out around 1905 or 1906 to make sure I'm not going to be holding any bags. And then I was holding a quarter for the test of this uh, 100 simple moving average. It gave me a, a little bit of slippage. My order didn't get filled. I had to cancel it. And resend another order. I have to. I couldn't do the hot keys uh, because it was moving fast. So I had, you know, I I was like, "Gee, man!" And so I had to do a couple of things to try to uh, get out. Uh, at the end, I had to send out a market order just to make sure that I was gonna get out because it was it, it, my orders was just by the time I was sending the orders, 
it was just the price was just flushing through and it was not getting me filled. It was not getting me filled. So I had to come back. Uh, I wait for the price to come back right back up to then test the area and get me out. And I didn't want to do that. So I had to get out of market order right there. And I some oftentimes I, I talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, so right now we're sprinting a possible bear flag formation using the prior support right here that we spoke about today earlier to be the resistance now and a possible follow through to the downside. Uh, there is a chance that we can follow through in this test right here at 17.15. We talked about this earlier today on the live stream. Um, again, uh, I just wanted to bring you this little bit of information. Uh, starting this weekend, Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to be sending out a weekly newsletter for the swing trade with uh, a good opportunities for also day trading those stocks. If you want to get that free information, go to traderscolony.com and create a free account to receive that information that I'm going to be sending out from this weekend and on. Starting this weekend and on, either Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to be sending out the, that email so you can check out that information on opportunities for us to capitalize on those moves over the next trading week for now i will let you guys go enjoy the rest of your day happy trading and good luck with everything to all of you thank you